Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Piece of cake. Now. Yeah. Let me show you what a full tilt male alligator looks like. Come over here. How do I miss you? This. Come on, come on, come on. This is the old mate. This is Barney. Barney the alligator. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. He's a naughty boy, that Barney. He's a naughty boy! I tell you what, how about I actually take you inside an alligator's mouth? Want to come into an alligator's mouth? I'm going to have to film this. So here we go. I'm just grabbing you nice and gentle now. Here we go. Come with me. Watch this. See if I can get you right inside there, will I? And over here, just over here, how's this white kick? Maybe this is his girlfriend. I've got to be a bit more careful with her, because she really bites. Hey, sweetheart! Whoa, 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 whoa! No, this isn't working. He's coming over to kill me. This is not good. Come on, mate, over here. Bring your water. Bring your water. <laughs> Don't you just love alligators? They are so cool. And they're just like the crocodile. They actually defend each other. Let's go inside his mouth one more time. All right, Stacy, it's back to you, mate. Ah, he's got me left. <laughs> Just kidding. I just took you live inside the jaws of a huge big alligator. And it's all about timing. Once bitten, twice shy. I've been nailed on the hand. Sometimes the jaws are quicker than the eye. For everything that happens in front of the cameras, there's just as much you don't see behind the cameras. Like what happened after they caught Bluey and where he went. Uh, let's go down here. Nice and Sometimes the release can be just as dangerous as the capture. Brian will have to keep his wits about him as he releases this crocodile and then try to remove the remains of the top jaw rope. Bluey's going to stay in this temporary new environment while we reshuffle most of our crocodiles for the new Crocosium. He's a long way from being fully grown, but make no mistake, he's fast, powerful, and more than capable of having a real go at any of these guys in there with him. But right now, he just wants to hide. Trying to go back into the box? Always the way. Can't get him in the box, and then you can't get him out. Now there's just one last thing to do. Once Brian's got the rope off his jaw, they can leave him to settle in. And before you know it, Bluey will be moving to his new home. Our brand new Crocosium will seat nearly 6,000 people and be home to seven of our largest wild-caught crocodiles in five-star accommodation. How's this? We thought everything was going smooth as a zipper with our Komodo dragons. They were so quiet and so placid. And then, immediately before the Croc Live event, we had a really nasty incident. There was an attack and it could have gone bad. By crikey, we were so nervous leading up to this. Since they arrived here, our Komodo dragons have been very docile. But recently, something triggered our big male. Slim went into an aggressive mode and he went straight to the attack of his female keeper. So we've been really apprehensive about using him for the live broadcast. But I've got to make the decision. He's the star of the segment, backed up by a great supporting cast, including the highly endangered Fijian crested iguana. And another spectacular species is the Australian Parenti. Set to go, and we're live again. Action. And here we are, live, back at my home, Australia Zoo. You know, we get asked to do a lot of endangered species breeding programs, and one of our fortes is lizards, especially iguanas and goannas. 
have a look at this little beauty. This is Say Say. No, 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 this one. This one's actually <laughs> Jodie. And how they've been going? How's our love of lizards going? Ah, oh, they're doing really well. It's only a matter of time we'll have eggs for sure. You reckon? Yeah, absolutely. So are they kind of making eyes and stuff? Oh, they love it. Oh, are they? Yeah. Now? That's so good. We've bred a lot of different iguana species, and the Fijian crested iguana is one of the rarest iguanas in the entire world. And uh, Jody's in charge of breeding, and with the lizards as well. Have a look at this little beauty. What a beauty. Hey, he's got to bite you. No biting, mate. No biting. No biting. Now, yeah, this is Ledge. He's an ear whopper. How's his breeding been going, Wes? Oh, mate, this guy's unstoppable. Yeah. He's got more girlfriends than hot dinners. We've had hot dinners. <laughs> <laughs> Our Peretti breeding record is uh, just sensational. We breed him every single year. Have a go at his mouth. He's got a huge, great set of teeth. And if we grab hold of you, your, your hand would come off. Wouldn't it, mate? Look at the size of his head. And you're scratching the living daylights out of Wes. I tell you what, he's a pretty big lizard. In fact, he's one of the biggest lizards in Australia, third largest lizard species in the world. But that's nothing. That is nothing. In fact, he would be considered as breakfast for this thing here. Have a go at this. Now, he's watching us. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Really steady. Because this is the notorious Komodo dragon. And they've got a switch. They've got a switch, something triggers them to uh, strike, and they can strike at 20 feet. We're not sure what twit makes them trigger. It's all right, buddy. Can I pat you? No biting. There's my boy. There's my boy. Have a go at this bloke. Isn't he sensational? Now, we've only just got Komodo dragons here at the zoo. Um, we're gonna breed them up as quick as we possibly can. Have a go at this boy. Can I get in here and give you a kiss? Look, kissing dragons. What a beauty. I get to do the most awesome stuff. You're a good lizard. Woo! Thank goodness that's over. Can we get back to a normal life? Clear, thank you. Crested iguana is one of the rarest iguana species in the world and here at Australia Zoo we have a breeding program for them to hopefully secure the population out in the wild. How's this? Casper, my white crocodile, finally gets the international recognition that he's always wanted. Casper's going to be a star, but it gets better. My favourite aunt, Dame Edna, is going to feed him, even though she doesn't know it. When you mix in an international celebrity in a live broadcast with a croc like Casper, you got to make sure nothing but nothing goes wrong. So behind the scenes, preparations are intense. We have Edna on that side, and then you can be there, and the other two, uh, camera two here, so you get close-ups of Edna. Casper has become notorious, one of the hardest hitting cranky crocodiles I've ever seen. I can't risk anything as tasty as my dear Auntie Edna, anywhere near Casper's jaws, so we'll be using a pole to feed him. The bamboo is soft enough for Casper to bite without hurting himself, yet light enough for my very famous Auntie to hold safely. Here's how we normally feed him, and that's definitely not for my Auntie Edna. And notice why he moves around the water, tracking my footsteps. Look at that incredible strength and power! Casper's the most aggressive crocodile we have at Australia Zoo. This is the first time that someone's fed him off a pole and it's a celebrity like Dame Edna, so we're all extremely nervous. Dame Edna's also meeting our koalas and we're setting up a temporary home so they'll feel safe and comfortable with plenty of gum leaves to munch on. Paul is Australia's leading koala expert and he's supervising the setup to ensure that no animal gets stressed or even slightly upset. These cute little blokes are used to being touched and handled by zoo visitors. They love us. Worst case scenario, one of these guys comes down. Wait until they're down about here. If you come in low, you can see where I am. On the telly, you're not going to be seen. Quickly up, put him back up, out of, out of shot. If he continues to do it, on the arm off. As long as we have one or two. You good with that? Gorgeous, isn't she? 
But how about this? G'day, how are you? Whoever would have thought the person attached to that nose would be out signing autographs. There you go. Pleasure. So, so Crikey! All the staff are becoming celebrities in their own right. Big 